Well, I mean, I joined it in 1998. I mean, that was a very special moment for me because I made a big decision to leave, you know, the Donnybrook Dublin 4 and RTE and all that and come across. And the first thing I was greeted by was just all these young, hungry people who wanted to get it right, you know. So, I mean, they, it was a kind of a can-do attitude. It was one of those situations whereby they said, you know, let's try this, let's try that. And sometimes it was it didn't work out, you know. But we'd kind of just start again and try and do more and uh, just keep coming up with ideas. And there was a great hunger and great youth uh, involved in the whole thing. And we've kind of, I think it's it's gone extremely well for us. I suppose a certain amount of complacency is going to set in when you're doing something for a long time in the one place. You know, so when I moved into Today FM, there was just this feeling of this is all new. These are all new people. I'm getting to know them. I'm getting to know their ideas. And uh, and and they were willing to listen to me. And I was saying, you know, before I wasn't used to it because people were so uh, accustomed to the way I worked that there wasn't a huge amount of newness. So from everybody's point of view, it was probably a good thing <laughs> that we moved on. But uh, it was uh, it was great. But that, that and that drive is still I think it's still there on the fourth floor. I mean, you know, there, every now and again, you kind of forget it for a while. But I think it's really back now. And uh, there's there's a good there's a good vibe, a good buzz out there. Uh, is vibe very old fashioned word to use? No, no, no. <laughs> I think Radio Ireland was trying to be, you know, all things to all people. It was trying to please all the people all the time. Whereas uh, when Ginger Productions came in and kind of said, okay, call it Today FM, do this, do that. And they kind of focused it a bit better. I think then the, it became a, a, a big force. But I mean, as I said in, the, in that, that article, um, you know, Today FM shouldn't really work. It should, like, it's kind of, it's mad because you've got like Matt Cooper and he's talking about, you know, the death of Martin McGuinness and then you've got me and I'm saying do you want to win a, a, a trip to a hotel and here's a bit of comedy and here's this and you know and a bit of showbiz news then you've got Dermot and Dave doing their thing and you've got Al Porter coming you know, like it's all kind of it's all over the place you've got Premier League live like five hours of football on a Saturday afternoon you know kind of it's it, it shouldn't work but it does and uh, I'd say there are a lot of um, you know a lot of radio people say from other countries when they come in and they, they see What's this? What's this radio station today? FM all about that? You, you know, they're kind of saying that that's impossible. That just couldn't happen. But the, there's something about it, and I think uh, I think the listeners feel a bit of ownership with the with the whole station as well, and they feel that they can connect with us at any time. They can give us their thoughts. They're not always listened to, you know. But um, we'll we'll d do our best to kind of take take on board what they what they've got to say. So you know, from that point of view, it's uh, it's it's a good place to be. Uh, there's a rebrand, uh, so there's a new logo, uh, which is quite like the or original logo. It's a bit like when Aer Lingus kind of changed the angle of their, their shamrock or whatever on the side of the plane. But uh, it's, it's quite like it. Um, and there's a, a big drive going on out there. And I think, I think maybe over the years we became a little undisciplined and, you know, like, you know, the way just to make it, you can still have all your content, you can still have all your heart and soul, you can still have all great people talking on the radio and great guests and all that. But I think they needed to kind of, uh, you know, sharpen it a little bit as in saying, OK, this music needs to be this way. Uh, we need to clean up this particular act. You know the way sometimes it's, a, it's back to the complacency thing, but I think it's, it's sharp again and it's ready to go and uh, it's on. <laughs>